there's a, a massive problem, and it's called poverty. And it's all across the world. It's the most complex, cruel issue facing our planet. Compassion exists to change that part of our world and to bless the ones who suffer the most in the midst of this complex problem, the children. The biggest challenge in delivering uh, help to the poor is you need in that community a credible, viable, trustworthy entity. Now you can put money into the government, but one of the reasons for so much poverty in the world is there's so much corruption in government, it doesn't trickle down. So what we do is we partner with a local church. Compassion partners with over 4,000 churches. We don't start churches, we come alongside churches, we put in their hands the resources and then launch them to do what Christ has already told them to do, to make disciples in their community. They have hearts of compassion, they have a mandate for integrity, and it's their hands and it's their feet that make this happen. That is why we partner with the church because the children we assist. We want to release them from the poverty. We want to enable our children become fulfilled Christian adults. By having the church involved in our programs, we become more and more effective because the church has got an impact on the society. Because of our commitment to that partnership with that local church, we are able to be engaged in that child's life until they're well into society. From the child survival program, to the sponsorship program, and to the leadership development program, the entire program is in the hands of the local church. And so it was the church who moved Compassion down to what we call our Child Survival Program, which is taking care of children and young families while the children are still in mama's womb. The Child Survival Program is dealing with very, very critical age of the baby. Right from age zero, that is right from prenatal, up to age three, age four, this is the period where the child needs a lot of mental development, a lot of good nutrition. And that is why Child Survival Program, taking on children before they are born, you are beginning to intervene in their lives, increasing their chance of livelihood. I don't think I could survive myself with these children, without CSP. And they helped me so much. Now I have faith in God. So that when they get to be about three or four years old, they are ready to take full advantage of the opportunities that is available to them. And as a result, they are perfect to then sponsor for our main program. The very core of Compassion's program and our history for half a century has been our child sponsorship program. What we've said is, how about you do it person to person? And that's the ones that we link up with sponsors from all across the world. It's a ministry to a specific child. You be in that child's life. You be there with letters as well. You watch for the development of that child. You send financial support. And with that, we put together the most complete holistic program for that child. When our daughter Alexia got a sponsor, we were all very happy because now she has another parent like us. Because of my connection with compassion and the things I was learning, my papa began drinking less and stopped abusing my mama. I had a dream to become a very great woman, but if God had not used compassion, that dream would not have come to pass. We have experienced the love of God through compassion. Now we have food, medicine, a place to live. My child calls his sponsors mother and father, and I know that even if I am not around, he has someone who cares. Why is this possible? Because it is the church itself 
who was doing the work, the hands-on work with the children. We are absolutely committed to this developmental path of these children, but there are times when additional things have to happen in order for these children to get over hurdles and to get on with the developmental path. And that's why we step in at times of relief when there's natural disasters. That's why we put in hundreds of water systems and wells across the world. I thank God for compassion because they have done so, so much for my children. If compassion had not come, I do not know where my children would be. That's why we deal with all of the health issues, malaria and immunization programs. That's why we do AIDS intervention, a huge program with us because it is stopping the progress of so many, many children and destroying families and homes. And so Compassion has moved out to educate the community about HIV and AIDS and also to provide opportunity for drugs, for treatment, to give hope to these people so that they can have chance to live. After taking my child to Compassion, he was able to get medicine and go to school. Compassion has strengthened us and helped us understand God's love. There's a whole range of interventions that we do on behalf of these children in order to give them every opportunity to get over the hurdles and give them the chance to reach their full potential. Then another program comes into play. 18 is not the end of life either. And so we have what we call our leadership development program. These kids are in university. They're not just in university, they're usually at the top of their classes. Not only are their lives blessed, but they turn around and bless the lives of others. So we're putting thousands of them through university in their own countries. We want them to become productive members to their own country. What we need is Christian leadership. Those who are shaped according to the biblical principles. And our program, LDP, will contribute towards that. The leadership development program has worked for me. I have received an opportunity that I will not have had under any other circumstances and help me become a better person than I would have. It was a big opportunity for me, a blessing, to go to university, and I fulfilled my dream of studying medicine. I came from a very poor community where the people die in gangs, the families disintegrate, there is prostitution, hunger, and I want to be part of the transformation of my community. We learn about leadership, what leadership means, Christian leadership. Now I'm able to realize what it means to be loved by a parent because I do not only look at them as, sorry for that, I not only look at them as, as my sponsors as such, but I look at them as my parents because they have made me what I am today. When a child goes all the way from I'm nobody and there's no reason for hope, to, I can make my world a better place. It starts with the love of God and it ends with the love of God lived out. They become the outstanding potential leaders of their nations. Now we have changed nations. The children are our hope for the future, the greatest investment we can possibly make. That is why the bringing of children to their Heavenly Father is at the very heart and soul of this ministry, so they fully understand God's love and learn how to live it out in their community. Without the partnership of the church, I'm convinced absolutely none of this would be possible. That's how we've seen it work over decades of ministry and in children's lives across the world as we build the kingdom of God one child at a time.